It was the turn of a new century. India became a nation of a billion people. Faced with unprecedented choice and opportunities. Derry too had turned 25. It knew that the environmental challenges of the 21st century demanded a new response. No country could solve them alone. And thus, Terry took the first step to bring together kindred spirits from around the world to share their ideas, zeal and ambition for sustainable development. It launched the Delhi Sustainable Development Summit in 2001 and from here began a journey of a thousand miles. My only advice while inaugurating the major event is to recall Mahatma Gandhi's principle of Antyodaya, which means taking care of the last of the most underprivileged and deprived. As climate change impacts began unfolding in everyday lives, the summit held a mirror to the world, urging leaders to recognize ethics, equity and science in creating a better world. This year alone we would dump 40 billion tons of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. This is bigger than any movie. There have been some role models in business that have shown us the way. They are insufficient at this stage. We need many more people coming across the board to really see how this could be um, actualized. We need to address climate and development together and not against each other. Successful climate action needs access to finance and resources and technology. When the best minds come together, when every country, big or small, finds equal voice on a common platform, when governments, business and civil society hear each other, ideas begin to drive action. Good news is that something's happened in the last 10 years which has massively increased our confidence that we can decarbonize electricity at an affordable cost. India can, by 2030, achieve 30% variable renewable generation at no extra cost. It is the last decade to fulfill the promise of the 2030 Agenda. A lot of distance is yet to be covered. Until then, a growing community of committed global citizens will continue to meet in New Delhi to share and spread hope, courage and action throughout the world. India is not only the biggest democracy in the world, it is also a laboratory in many ways for the development solutions of tomorrow. But the fact that this summit happens here is testimony to the fact that India matters.